Hello everyone, we're here at the entrance to Tabbyville Central Park to make a big reveal. I'm your host Freckles from Meth the Cat 2015 Easter Live and we're here to talk about the latest development in Tales of a Cat, Matt's and Wiley's Cove of Discovery. And so, I'm here with the stars of the comic, Matt and Wiley. So, what was your reaction when you found out that you were going to be featured in a comic? I'm going to be featured in a comic. Happy dance. Happy dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. So what would you say the best part of being in a comic? Um, my catchphrase, definitely. I don't think so. Wow. I mean, just wow. Taking me a while to get a hold of this, but wow, this is really amazing. I would have to say that I think the best part, my favorite part of doing this is just really, um, the acting bit. The, uh, the, um, I helped a lot with the writers and the drawers so I can get a lot of, uh, inside scoop on the stuff. And I also really like showing the world my wonderful traveling tips because I've been a lot of places and I'd love to share them with the world. And um, also you get to do a, a lot of really cool things um, in comics that you don't really get to do in live action. Like for instance, I can jump off the tower bridge and not have to be uh, get a stunt double to do that, you know, because I'm just a comic. It's pretty cool. Uh, I did enjoy eating because we got to do we had to do a lot of eating behind the scenes because we had to model for when they were drawing us so I had to eat a lot gotta say it was some of the best food I've ever taken but then again being a model has its downsides sides because they're always yelling at you do this or do that but, uh, yeah the comics are written by written by Vincent and dad and are drawn by both of them and the Wiley's travel um, tips section is written by me and drawn by them. And uh, I, re I really got some global experience, you know, even though we weren't really there in the locations, you know, you just kind of got the feel for it. Like, oh, uh, this is the jungle, they have big vines, blah, blah, blah. You really get into the... All in all, though, you know, besides the yelling and the kicking and the scratching, I have to admit it was one of the best summers I've ever spent. Yep, me too. What do you think about the comic stories themselves? The stories were great, but you could kind of tell they took a bit of liberties with our characters. I mean, how could I have been silly enough to float away on a pirate ship? I don't know how. And I would have never gotten lost in the jungle, you know, in real life. But uh, the scripts themselves were pretty good. Um, you see, the... Um, the series is called Cove of Discovery, and actually, the we have about um, three or so serials, um, a bunch of different stories that are all combined into one big series, and um, our first one is called um, Cove of Discovery after the series, and in it, Matt the Cat um, gets whisked away on a pirate ship. And then there's this one called Cloud Hopping, which is one of my personal favorites, but, uh, and then there's Matt and Wiley's Travel Tips, which we co-wrote. The, uh, producers are currently working on a, uh, spin-off, I believe, called Code of Discovery, but I really don't know what's gonna happen with that one. I mean, it's just really all in the making. Maybe in that one we'll get whisked off by, uh, the government or something. Anyway, thank you guys for coming out here and discussing this with me and our fans. And for the fans, I get a super cool cameo, so stay tuned for that. And it's all coming next fall!